Okay, so today we are trying to install some framing for the bed, the walls, and the ceiling. Uh, this will be a project over the next few days, I imagine. But we're gonna start out by creating the width for our bed, which we have these two by eight boards that we're gonna cut 54 inches wide, which is how wide the beds are, or how wide a full bed is that we're going to install. Um, how we're going to install these into this kind of side panel is we have two and a half inch bolt, the hex bolts that are three and an eighth uh, inch wide. And then if you see on here, there are some holes uh, every six inches or so um, that we're going to, that these fit nearly perfectly in them. So we'll cut a hole in through the board and then we'll use a nut to clamp it down on the other side and then we'll probably go every other hole to give us five or six um, spots where it's bolted in and then so we'll do this for this side and the opposite side and then we'll get to working on the framing for the rest of the walls and the ceiling while Micah eats her leash. Micah! Peppy dog! Derp. So we just got done installing two of the side pieces for the bed frame. They're not as, I guess, secure as they will be in the end because right, we'll have some supports coming from underneath and above as well. Okay, uh, so yesterday we ran conduit all throughout the van. This is where all of our wiring would go through. Um, right now, Natalie is working on building a box that will go over the driver's side back wheel well. Um, over in this area is going to house all of our circuit boards, fuse box, batteries, and whatnot. Um, so while she's building the box, I'm going to be down below. I'm going to start working on building four horizontal beams for the ceiling that will go across these beams. That will get screwed into them, which I am cutting out three quarter inch plywood to go across here. Hi, are you recording me? Maybe. What are you doing? I'm making, taking measurements of this box so I can cut plywood to put on it. This trash box, but it's gonna do the job. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, so good. Um, and then we also have these first four frames in the roof. Uh, well, not fully in. There's only about one or two screws in each of these. Um, Self-tapping screws into this is 
actually a lot more difficult than what I thought it was going to be. So it's just going to be a matter of just just dealing with screwing in how many? 24, something like mm -hmm. that. Because there's we got six screws on each board. So it's so pretty evenly spaced all the way out for uh, all four boards. So while she's doing that, I'm going to do this. And that's probably all we'll get done today. <laughs> hey, um, so Today's been an, a fairly chill day, I would say. Um, we cleaned up the floors in here. They were really bad and vacuumed, cracked them, stuff like that. Um, we finally ran our wire through our conduit. Um, so we have all the main wiring inside the van kind of set up, other than lights, we'll have to string them string wires through the ceiling uh, to loop the lights in a circuit. Um, let's see. We also, I filled in these gaps around the tires with some spray foam insulation. Um, just so stuff can't get in it. Kind of seals those edges of the wood, what, whatnot. Um, and now we are stuffing our sheep's wool insulation back up in the ceiling, around all the conduit, wherever we can get it. Um, that's not quite the walls yet. We'll do the rest after we have like the rest of the furring strips on. Um, but that's about it. I may install this box today. Uh, we have to have another piece of half inch conduit run through it for our fridge. That'll come like up over the tire and then over probably around at the porthole. Um, so I may do that today, I might not. Depends on how I feel. Um, so I'm cutting two by fours to go up in ceiling sections so that they can go up like this we can have another board that makes everything flush and then we have a nice um, spot to put cabinetry into while Natalie's cutting these boards I'm going I'm cutting three quarter inch plywood to length for our vertical um, vertical beams um, I'm gonna cut them three and a half inches long or three and a half inches wide and I believe it's about 70 or 71 inches I'm going to cut up to the top um, and we'll see how those fit. We also have got a ton of wire ran and that has probably been the most annoying project thus far. So now we get to cut wood and put together framing. Is the mic on? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so we have put up some framing so far up in the edges and these two vertical frames now i just cut out two boards that we are going to place horizontally and this is so we can have better supports whenever we put a board in here we'll be able to screw into the bottom of this as well as when we put a board up here we'll screw into the top of this so there's an indent over going over each lip about an inch and a half or so um, and we're doing this on both sides in the back.
All right. Hello everyone. Um, it's definitely been a good bit uh, since I've made a video, but we're finally getting back to work on our van. So months and months ago, we put in framing all along the ceiling and the back wall. And I'm just gonna go over that real quick. So how we did it was we had three quarter inch plywood um, that we just got from like Lowe's or Home Depot or something. And I cut them into strips. The majority are three quarter inch plywood cut to three and a half inch width. Um, some of them are around like two and a half to two and three quarter um, inch width, but that is not all of them. The majority though are three and a half inches wide. And what we did was just run them vertically along the, all the way from the floor to the top besides the big beam where um, our bed will rest on. And then also we ran vertical beams, or I guess technically horizontal, horizontal to the ceiling, which is where our, whenever we get some boards, they'll go into the ceiling. The van is a full on wreck right now. I understand that. I'm working on more framing stuff. Uh, this should hopefully, finish up another video but yeah we really just worked on framing um, either in the last video or this current one we also ran wiring which sucked we'll get more into that on a different video whenever I finally get to that but currently I'm just working on more framing and then eventually we're gonna get boards across the ceiling and down um, some of the walls <clears throat> current project for the day is we have this frame, this this wood frame Nally made, uh, not too long, well, a good while ago, but it will it goes around our back window that we installed. So my current project for today is making little edge corners, making little corners that'll wrap around. That way, there's not just um, metal showing in the corners of the window. So yeah, so that's my project today. Uh, that will come in a later video as well. But, yeah, so we just did a whole bunch of framing, uh, and that's just going to give us the ability to um, build cabinets, put boards up around the ceiling, um, and along the walls, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, so if you got to this point and you're still watching, uh, thank you, and I'll see you next time I edit a video.